Hey guys, it's me, man. Actually, I'm bringing you guys some more Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we uh, completed what we need to do on the islands. But don't you just hate it when one of your Pokemon die in the middle of a bloody uh, grinding grinding section? Because as you saw, you may have may have seen. Uh, let's check it out. Marshy died while it was grinding, which was complete ass, and yeah, but I decided to honor the rules of the Snuzzlock and keep him dead, so yeah, I decided not to cheat, which is nice of me, but uh, right now, uh, we can talk to Belle whenever we uh, need to go home, so we have everything done, all we have to do, yes please. Alright, can can we go back to Kanto now? Bye. 
And yeah, so we are now back at Kanto. We are now back on the uh, Cinnabar Island. Anyway, uh, and he tells us that we can uh, go back to the uh, islands whenever we want to. So yeah, I got Carl after level 40, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I lost the Pokemon, so yeah. But I'm not really that sad because the next gym is not it's not going to be that easy because uh, this is going to be the last gym in the in the league and I actually need to buy some stuff because I need some stocks so let's go to a bag oh god you don't have jack shit so might as well roll over to the Saffron City actually and go see where is it not self Celadon City I mean and uh, let's go into the uh, Pokemon so we can buy some items because buying items is good and I'm out of stock for certain things like I need some balls not not TMs no will you give me yeah you give me great balls revives that I don't need I need other shit where's other stuff like that. I'm not gonna see upstairs. No, you you don't give me anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of you people give like sells me some shit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's let's go downstairs because it doesn't have what I want. I want some ultra balls. So, hmm, where do you buy ultra balls in this area? Might as well go back to Cinnabar Islands, considering that they may have uh, Ultra Balls and some repels and shit. Oh, they do have Ultra Balls. Uh, let's buy. Well, I already have 12. Let's buy 5. And uh, I need some Hyper Potions, so let's buy. 20. And also. Uh, some max repels would be useful. Oh, I have, I have enough max repels. I have like 32 max repels. I feel I'll be alright. So, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I don't really need to do anything else. Uh, so, let's go ahead and fly back to Viridian City. And uh, all we have to do in this area is defeat the gym leader. So, yeah. Uh, how you guys been doing? I've been doing great. Uh, I feel that I'm going to be sick. Uh, anytime soon now, cause I'm just feeling it inside me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna push for it. So uh, this is the Viridian City Gym. The original, originally the gym leader was not here, so you couldn't enter this place. But now he is here, and uh, he specializes in ground type Pokemon. So bring your, uh, you might want to bring some psychic type Pokemon, some grass type Pokemon, and some water type Pokemon as well. So yeah, and uh, there's a bunch of other Pokemon as well that these people use, but I'm not necessarily that scared. So I'm going to go for Dig, take out this Arbok, because my Arbok is better than your Arbok. Uh, Taurus comes in, in Flamethrower, like it, good. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom over here, and we've got a battle against the Karai guy, he's got to just take him out with Surf, Surf, yay. Uh, 2 hit KO, okay, that was okay. Uh, that took me nowhere. Let's go up here. Check what's up here. We hi. Let's battle. Okay, Karate King. Uh, surf. Yeah, I took it out on one hit that time. Uh, my chop. I guess Fuego is the other Pokemon. I'm using Fuego too often, in my opinion. That's why he's so powerful. Like he's level 57, and uh, he's just broken as all hell. But you know, I'm gonna need a Pokemon like him later on, so yeah. Uh, let's use Surf. Uh, grab a Surf. Onyx Water Gun. Yeah, we're just gonna use Water Gun. Save the PP. Oh, he stayed. Oh, oh, oh. Nitty got killed there. I saw the critical hit and I was like, <gasps> maybe you might kill me, but no. He fails and I can heal. Ellie up. I didn't want to lose Ellie, especially this far into the game, you know. 
I'm right near the end of the game. I don't want to be losing any more Pokemon. I've already lost too many, in my opinion. So, uh, let's go for Surf. Take out that Rhydon. Or Rhyhorn, I mean. Rhydon's is evolution. Uh, Marowak. Well, you have like so many Marowaks. Uh, what a gun. No. That will take you out. Okay, that will. Level 49. That is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I think that's it. I'm going to go outside. I'll meet you guys back inside when I go heal up. So, back in the gym. Uh, this is actually a really easy gym. Uh, the warp, the uh, panels that make you move all around the place. They won't annoy you. You just have to go through here. Here. And... Uh, no, I didn't battle you. Okay. Uh, you have a sand slash. Water gun it. Sand slash again. Water gun. Right horn. Let's switch. Let's go to Billy, you know. Let's show some Billy off. Because Billy can show off. Actually, this might be a bad idea. Okay. It has trash now. No, that was close. Okay. Don't do that again. Um, need a Reno uh, poison type. So, dig. Bye bye. And poison point. And now I'm poisoned, but I'm not that scared. Uh, I have the healing items to deal with that. Uh, if I do, let's... antidotes. There we go. And Fuego is healed up. And I think I'm completely and utterly correct to think that I'm completely correct to think that. I what am I saying? I think I'm okay for this gym. So let's gonna I wanna start off Billy and then like if things get tough, Ellie's like my backup plan and then if if Ellie dies, I'm pretty much fucked for the rest of this gym or probably just tank it through with my Fuego but here is Giovanni, he is the gym leader. What a shocker, isn't it? And uh He is the gym leader as well. He uses uh being a gym leader as kind of like a curtain to kind of like you know hide his organization but uh, he's gonna start off with right on no problem I'm not scared uh, yeah so I might as well talk about other Pokemon related stuff while this episode is going on uh, recently was revealed well yeah recently was revealed the new Pokemon X and Y the new Pokemon the new evolution for uh, Charizard, the new Mega Evolution, which was Mega Evol which was Mega Charizard X, which is wow, absolutely fantastic. It is finally Fire Dragon type, and uh, the Pokemon that was revealed before that was po was Mega Charizard Y. So again, another reason to buy Pokemon X over Pokemon Y. But um, also. That was recently uh, released. Uh, the Pokemon Origin, Pokemon the Origin anime came out. I watched it. It was very, very good. So I'm going to summarize it. But for those who haven't watched it, go ahead and go watch it. You know, I think the dub version is coming out in a few weeks, so you can wait for that. But I did watch the Japanese version instead. But I do recommend checking it out. It's a fantastic anime. You know, they don't they don't hold back, do they? in the entire anime like it's it's basically four parts uh the first part is uh about uh red's first ever you know uh uh first red's first ever you know starting out when he's starting out he starts off with his little charmander and uh he gets his ass beat by uh his arrival green uh and his um what's it called Squirrel, and he gets his ass kicked, and and he goes around trying to catch every single Pokemon in the world, learning about the Pokemon world, and so on and so forth. Also, uh, I would like to I would like to add that the voice actor for uh, Red in the anime, the Japanese version, is the same one as the one the person who voices Naruto, and she, the voice actress, uh, she also voices Endo. In uh, Inzumi 11, uh, Go and 
in the original Inzuma Eleven Ghost series. So that was interesting. Yeah. Everybody in the comments when I was watching the video was like, "Oh, it sounds like Naruto and shit." Uh, like it's the same voice actor, so no shit. But uh, anyway, uh, we defeat uh, we defeat Giovanni, which was pretty awesome. Uh, also in the uh, also in the Pokemon the Origin anime, they show the battle that uh, Red has against Giovanni, which is actually kind of he uses all six Pokemon, which is kind of like stupid because everybody. Everybody who's playing Pokemon only really needs one Pokemon to even defeat a gym, you know. You only use other Pokemon if you want to, you know, have extra insurance. But, uh, you know, I, I raped that gym with just two Pokemon and I was just being cocky at that point. But over here we got uh, Mr. What's his name? And uh, he's. <laughs> What's his name? I completely forgot. But uh, here we are. Here we are, our rival, our ass hat. And he's going to start with Pidgeot. And. Uh, he is much much stronger than he was before and immediately I'm at a type disadvantage because you know what I'm very, very stupid and I started off with uh, I knew I was gonna have this battle yet I started off with a bloody type now he has a clear shot at me uh, he probably won't kill me because I'm pretty high level but I'm low level than him but I'm not necessarily scared because Rav is enough to take what ah that was close that was like critical hit you ass and uh, this might take you out no it won't okay uh, let's go into our bag and let's go and go look for the happy potion and we're gonna give you what I have the happy potion anyway back to the origin anime uh, the first I might as well summarize it uh, pretty much um, I already talked about the first first uh, s special part the special uh, later on in that special, you get to see the fight against Brock that Red has. He uses like about all six Pokemon, which is like, wow, come on, dude, just get out your freaking water type or your grass type, you know. What's in that Pokemon? Oh, yeah, Rhyhorn. Um, he could have easily won that if he just, you know, taught his Bleach Halmander, uh, you know, uh, Metal Claw, but he didn't. Nah. He he got through that by pure willpower and strength between your Pokemon and your trainer, the bond between shit and friendship and happiness and good and yeah he basically wins it and uh, what's the Pokemon? Oh yeah, execute. Uh, no problem. For you. Um, then the second part of the uh, special was um, basically showing off the. Uh, Little event in Lavender Town, you know, the ghosts and the uh, dead Marowak, the dead Marowak and its little cub, its little baby, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's a pretty heartwarming story, heartwarming, heartwarming, heartwarming story, and uh, yes, they actually acknowledge Pokemon death for the first time in any animated series which is absolutely fantastic I never I never really thought they would take it to that level you know they actually acknowledge that Pokemon do die and that Pokemon have graves and that did jack shit <laughs> okay um let's go for body slam let's okay Growlithe in comes the Growlithe but uh, it doesn't necessarily matter because Okay, so now I can get a bit damage and ah the paralysis. Ooh. Ha 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 now I am now I have the upper hand and uh, even if he's does switch out I'm not really that scared. And uh, Alright, back to the anime. Uh the third special that was shown was uh, basically him against Team Rocket. He takes out everybody in the Silco and then G he has that fight against Giovanni and and Giovanni, like, like uh, he's like all cocky, but you know, because he sees Red's like determination and his bond between his Pokemon, he says, "You know, fuck it, I'm gonna end my uh, long." Oh, that's that's a very. I was going to switch it to Carl there. I was like, "What am I thinking? It's a poison type against Psychic. Are you dumb?" The reason why I was going to switch into Carl's is because it knows bite so but he's really on the level so I wouldn't 
recommend doing that. No, I might do another grinding montage later on, but I really don't need to. Um, let's just flame for this and say arigato. Tomo arigato, Mr. Alakazam. What the fuck? Well, thank God I missed. Uh, oh yeah, because that that's what happened. Flamethrower would normally one-shot this Alakazam, I think, because I'm telling it was higher. But uh, because the rain was still up, the fire type move was weakened. But it doesn't matter because we got his last Pokemon, and I don't know whether I want to switch into Rav at this point because he might die, and I'm scared of that. Uh, but uh, let's switch into Billy because Billy can like successfully wall this motherfucker so yeah all right so I'm gonna go high potion and just a little bit of backup and uh, give oh rain dance go for your rain dance it doesn't matter to me uh, let's see if we can paralyze it with body slam and then then we'll see after that ah flinched damn it uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, back to the anime. Uh, the fourth part of the series was uh, basically uh, at that point, Red had already caught all 150 Pokemon, but there was only one left. No, all 149 Pokemon. There was only one left, and that was Mewtwo. Uh, Green goes after Red. He gets his ass hit, his ass kicked. But uh, then afterwards, um. What happens uh, then afterwards red goes after it and the uh, last Pokemon he needs to get is Mewtwo and Mewtwo is like holy shit <laughs> no that was just me reacting to the critical here sorry Mewtwo is like ridiculously powerful and you know he's using all his Pokemon trying to weaken it but it just keeps going for recover and basically it basically shows off the rage that a lot of uh, Pokemon fans first felt when they went, at, went up against me too so you know it's a great representation but uh, near the end we uh, see that uh, Charizard Mega Evolves into Mega Charizard X and then we he ca he finally catches Mewtwo and it's like yay he caught Mewtwo by complete and utter bullshit because normally I mean seriously if anyone else had a Mega Charizard when they came into that battle, they would have automatically went like, oh yes, we we are bosses, we are the kings and shit. But, uh, they obviously did that to uh, basically <coughs> advertise Pokemon X and Y, so. Yeah, uh, I need, a, well, I have no Pokemon with me, I have only four, but I'm not really scared because I don't have any of the Pokemon that are high level, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna roll to Victory Road with only four, po four six, five Pokemon, so I'm not that scared. Who's scared? I'm not scared. Um, hey man. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, might as well put on Repel, because I don't want to be running into Pokemon at this point. Uh, where is it? There it is. And we got it. Alright, so. Yay, I'm so happy right now. Because we are nearing the end of the game and it's so cool. But, uh. We have the Baldy Badge, so he's going to let us through. And into Route 23. And he can only let us pass with the Cascade Badge. And over here, he can only let us, let us pass if we have the Thunder Badge. Yes, we have the Thunder Badge, so we must go through. And he can only let us pass if we have the Rainbow Badge. And so we can go through here. And I don't know whether or not this is this counts as my first encounter. What was the route before this? I'm going to look in my bag for a second. Bag! And uh, I'm going to look for... Town map, here we go. Use her. Oh, so that was Route 22, and now I'm on Route 23. Okay, so that's fine. Alright, so I can catch Pokemon in this area, so that's good. At least. Uh, uh, she can only, he can only let us pass with the Soul Badge. That was the 
well, most of the gyms in this game were ridic ridiculously easy. The only person I had any trouble with was Misty, and that was ass. But, uh, you know, the spy, we have the March badge. Uh, that kind of scared me, but I, I had an overpowered Charizard, so yeah. Um, we're gonna walk in this grass and until the uh, effects of the uh, things worked out, so. Run, 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 run. Everybody party, run, everybody run. Come on, Max Repel, go away. How many steps? Yep, th there is. Okay, so our first counter is. Smile, Mike. I'm so disappointed. Okay, so. I guess I could just. There, yeah, I could weaken it. What is name? Okay, that took it out. Okay, no problem. I have no problem with that. Uh, let's put Carl at the front now. Just in case. Like, it's like... There are lots of high-level Pokemon here. Anyway, we've got the Volcano Badge, so he lets us through. And, uh, we have... We have the Earth Badge, so he lets us through. So, finally, we are in Victory Road. Uh, the Victory Road in this area is actually kind of bullshit, because you need strength, and I don't have strength, so I'll be right back. So I kind of wasted my own time and figured out that Carl can learn bites, so Carl can learn strength, so I decided to do that. Uh, let's push this rock, because that's what we do, and I think I just... But our first catcher is... <gasps> it's so fitting! Don't bother about the little icon here, because that's complete face. I actually caught an explode like a hell of a long time ago. Uh, when I was trying to get uh, the uh, HM Flash, so don't worry about that. So this actually comes as my first encounter, but let's go into a tank because we need to tank this Explode. It's so fitting, huh? It's so fitting. You know how fitting this is. This is like so fitting. Don't kill it. Uh, thank God. Uh, don't kill me either, uh, please. Oh yeah, it needs to. Uh, it went for Hyper Beam, didn't it? So it needs to. So let's go for. Balls. <gasps> that nearly killed me. <gasps> I would, I would, I would have killed this motherfucker if he killed me. Oh god. Anyway, let's throw some more balls at it. <gasps> we finally called it. And you know what? You know how fitting. Because of how fitting this is, we're gonna call you. If I can actually fit it in. Pomloon V2. <sighs> Look at it. Such a brilliant name. Ah, Pomloon is back, people. Yes. And I might have to go to the move chooser because I don't like his move set. Uh, let's give it an item first of all. Let's go into our bag and give it an item. Let's check it. Uh, let's put that on it, and I think I have paralysis here. Here we go, and uh, also, I think I need to teach it a move, some kind of move, because otherwise I kind of feel. Oh, toxic! I knew I had it, but I was like, yeah. I'm gonna teach it. I'm gonna teach it to uh, thingy. Was it? I'm gonna teach it to my Arbok later on, but I need to teach it a move and uh Brick Break seems legit because that seems Yeah, Brick Break seems Yeah, I'm gonna teach it Brick Break because Brick Break's useful and powerful. So yeah, we're gonna teach it Brick Break because I need a fighting type move uh, on this team. Uh we're gonna get rid of Supersonic because Supersonic has really low accuracy, so and Pomblum V2 has now got that thing. Uh, let's go into our bag and put on repels because I do not want to be running into Pokemon in this area because they're all high leveled and piss me off. I'm only going to be so I better put Carl. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. So let's make our way through this area and see what we can. Okay, so I'm supposed to push a rock there. Uh, 
How am I gonna do this? Uh... Okay, so I'll push this over here. And I ran into a Pokemon, and it's a Bloody Tropius, but I'm gonna kill it. With some flames. And I push this over here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, alright. I got an idea. I push this over here. Yeah, I got it. And now I can move forward. Yay, and the squirrel. Bye bye. Uh, let's carry on. I think I'm on the level for this area actually. Uh, Persian. Pom blew me too. Uh, brick. I said brick, brick. There you go. Uh, ponyta, ponyta, ponyta. Ellie, uh, water gun, I guess. What was that Pokemon? Oh, Rapidash. Okay. I better, I better look at the Pokemon they, they switch into. Because Nine Tails, oh, I'm not scared of this one. And Ellie is now <gasps> trying to learn Hydro Pump. Yeah! Ellie is going to be a beast. I, I'm, I'm calling it now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this item of here. Uh, the only way we can get these items is if we decide to choose whether or not to choose one or the other. But over here, we got a rose candy, and I'm going to come back and get the other one. Anyway, back here, and uh, if you push this rock this way this time, you get CF TM28. TM02 Dragon Claw. Wow, I can't talk. Okay, so let's carry on and uh, make our way through this area. Uh, you can push that rock to make your make your way back. But uh, we get this guy with eradicate. Uh, uh, screw you. Uh, Ivy saw. In comes the Fuego with the flames, War Total, War Total, uh, Rav, Shockwave this bitch, says so Shockwave this bitch, yeah that's better, uh, what Pokemon was switching, I don't know, Fuego can do with it, ah, oh, it's Charminion, okay, looks like, oh, ah, oh, Charizard, my Charizard's better, okay, so let's start healing, cause, Actually, let's start getting rid of these. Uh, attack stat. Who needs a higher attack stat? You do. Uh, who needs... Who needs a higher HP stat? Uh, you do. Because you're HP oriented. Uh, who needs high special attack stat? You do. Uh, who needs high defense stat? You do. And who needs high special defense stat? You do. Uh, who needs high speed stat? Speed stat. Uh, you you do, cause you're slow. And uh, who needs to heal? You guys do. Ah, oh, come on! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! There we go. And let's make our way upstairs. Hopefully, I'll be able to complete the entirety of. Uh, the uh, Victor Road in one video because uh, I want to do the rest of it later on and also want to do later on a wow huh. I actually right now I've actually thought about how long this let's play has taken me and ah oh, it's Whismer too bad I already caught your evolved form lol uh, Gardas Wow, these guys are strong. Damn. Um, Machoke, let's run and go to Fuego. Why don't I go for Flame, bro? It doesn't matter anyway. Machop. And Machoke. Bye bye. Nobody needs to heal, but I think I'm running out of, uh, PP for shockwave. I need to. I need to learn like at least thunder or something, because that'll be a hell of a lot more useful. But we get TM32 sandstorm over here, 
and uh, Persian that I don't want to deal with. So yeah, I'm gonna battle every single one of these guys. What was it trying to do? It kept going for. I think it was going to street screech or something. Uh, drowsy, dr drowsy, drowsy, drowsy. You have high special attacks that. Hmm, high special attacks that, but. Oh, Fuego, come on out. Uh, you're just gonna kill you. Uh, this is my answer to psychic types. Fuego. Die, bro, flink, bro. Die, bro, flink, bro. Bye bye. Um, damn. A lot. Of, there's a lot of strong Pokemon here, which is ridiculous. But uh, great for them. You know. Uh, what was I gonna say? Great for grinding, I meant. So yeah, they, this place is like great for grinding. Uh, normally it is, but uh, with it being randomized now, it kind of can. It kind of is, but better because you don't know what kind of Pokemon you can be running into. And uh, that guy looked like he was going all over the place. But he's got a Persian. Uh, Persian. Let's go into you. Oh, blue swipes. Ooh, you, you're gonna kill me, huh? Nice try. Uh, brick, brick. Gold up. Uh, hyper beam. Ah! Haha! <laughs> I love using hyper beam. Uh, hyper beam is not one of those moves that I usually use because. Ah, wow, level 46. That's great. Alright. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime! Uh, Fuego, come on out. And kill everything. Alright. And over here, TM07. I don't know what that was. I run away from the Persian and uh, upstairs. F fucking heck. Every single thing is after me. That was close. Oh, I hate. I hate looking at my Pokemon when they're in the around yellow health because it's kind of scary. Anyway, uh, let's go. Up. Uh, Typhlosion. Let's try using Hyper Hydro Pump. But let's kick let's kick this guy's let's kick this girl's ass. She got a Clefairy level 32 uh brick break. Uh Wow well, with Hyper Beam. Yes, I would like to change. Uh let's go to Carl. Let's let's try out Carl. Uh, I have shed skin, so I might get rid of that. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, that's good. What did she go for? Body slam. Oh. Alright, let's kill this bitch. Uh, Wiggly. No, Dugon. Uh, I remember my Dugon. Uh. Rav, come on out. Uh, Shockwave. Oh wow, rest. Seriously. Persian is up next. <sighs> this might be tough. Or I could just rape everything with one Pokemon. I remember my Chansey. This thing won't die. It's literally just going for... Now I need... wave okay so that's why you want to save those ethers but even though you, what I don't like about ethers is that you can't buy them even though they're like they're not as useful but go away ah <sighs> okay so let's go pushing some rocks cuz ah this is annoying oh god this is annoying okay let's let's do that so now no Pokemon will annoy me and uh, let's try get some items as well. Oh, you have an executor. Oh, fan freaking great. <sighs> this might be hard. I have to give it my full concentration now. There we go. Uh, electro. No, I didn't. I didn't want to switch. 
Sound Slash. Yes, I do want to switch. Ellie, come on out. Uh, you can use Hydro Pump. Yay, I like Hydro Pump. Uh, I think that was Cloyster, so Rav. Shockwave. Shockwave is not killing my Pokemon. Them. It's not killing them in one hit now. So I need to learn Thunder or something. Because it's not killing them in one hit now. Ah, uh, agility. Ah. Uh. You're already fast. Why do you need to be faster? I don't know. Let's get rid of Sand Attack. Because Sand attack, attack actually takes a lot of time to set up. So let's go for strength. Oh god, this gun. This might take a while. This might be an extra long episode. I might have to, like, cut it off. Alright. Alright, repel, reflect, war off. Where is it? Uh, Max repel. I'm really conscious of time as well. And that did something. I can't get out of here. Alright, um. Oh, I have gone here, so uh, I guess uh, Billy, come on out. Uh, why do you only know one move? And it's the only grass type move that you can actually bloody learn and tend to crawl. Why don't I not switch out? <sighs> now I'm scared that he might go for the poison type. Ah, oh, doesn't. Yay. Uh, come on, kill it. <gasps> kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah. Cedra. Cedra is scary. Um. Alright, Blastoise. I dealt with one before. I can deal with another. There we go. <sighs> Bloody hate. Uh, this area is gonna kill me, I'm pretty sure. This area is going to kill one of my Pokemon. And I'm actually kind of wary of time as well, so. Let's get as much done that I have to before I have to go. Uh. Yeah. Oh, come on! Two hits? Are you for real? Brawl Sprouts! A bell sprout is gonna kill me. You dumb. No way. Am I allowing that? No bloody way. There you go. Fuego like a boss, killing every single thing in its way. Carl is just showing how weak it is by not really doing anything, and I can push this hole down this. You can push that down there and let's go down there actually. And I think I think yeah, I pushed that over there. That is how you push rocks. Fast. And now I'm over here and we have a double battle. And I'm immediately at a disadvantage. Uh, surf and uh, the switch. It doesn't look like a resist surf. Billy. <gasps> You're about to die. Oh god. Ah. Uh, and you need to heal. It's better if you just heal. Billy's nearly dead. Oh god damn it. That nearly killed you. Ah. Uh. Thank God, this Gen Three. Oh yeah, Gen Three doesn't it doesn't hit other Pokemon on your field. So yeah, Gen Three with Surf doesn't hit other Pokemon on your field. So I have nothing to worry about, I guess. But I wanted something that could resist hits, I guess. Uh, I'm paralyzed, aren't I? So okay, so I went up there. Now I can come here. Huh? What you got to say? 
Oh, you want to teach more about my double edge? No. Uh, let's. And we are finally out of the victory road, which is. Why the hell do you have to put this there? There's no point. No point in this. And we are finally at the Indigo Plateau. And we are finally at the Pokemon League. Oh god, it's been a long road. But uh, we did it. We did it in one part. I thought I, did it. I thought I would have to split this into many parts, but I did it. And uh, yeah, so next time, my friends, we are going to be finishing this game. And we're going to be finishing this Nuzlocke run by defeating the Elite Four. And I'll see you guys later for some more Pokemon. Fire Red, randomized Nuzlocke. Peace.